Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. While you're here, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay notified. Today's review is the Marvel Legends Retro Series Spider-Man J. Jonah Jameson from the, the new Retro Card line. This guy, I've been waiting for a long time for him to re-release. I missed out on the initial release back in the early Hasbro days, I think. And yeah, I've been delighted to get him to add to the rest of my Spider-Man Retro Collection. He looks really good. So let's get him over to check out the packaging. So let's look at the card for J. Jonah Jameson. As you can see, he comes with a daily bugle. Two different hands and another version of the bugle unrolled up. You have the banner here, which looks cool. The old Spider-Man logo at the top, including the Marvel Comics classic logo. Choking hazard, small parts, not for children. Not for children. On the back, you've got the classic Toy Biz descriptions and stuff. Tough, gruff and loud, J. Jonah Jameson is a force to be reckoned with in the boardroom and on the front pages of the Daily Bugle. As the newspaper's editor-in-chief, Jameson is a perennial thorn in both the side of Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Again, random number. Here is J. Jonah Jameson. Acting all tough. And here is all the warnings and stuff you don't really need to worry about. And now I'm going to get him out of the packaging and take a look at the figure. So here is J. Jonah Jameson out of the box. And as you can see, he's really, really nice. Now the first thing I spotted when I got him out of the box was this little paper thing, which is really, really cool. I'm going to whip it out of your hands there, JJ, for a second. And it actually has little stories about all the characters in the Spider-Man Retrowave, Spider-Borg, Electro, Speaks Out. And has two sides, which is very surprising as well. Spider-Sham on the top, Wilson Fisk, Oscorp, Not Guilty of Fraud, Cat Burglar at Large, this lady. And Mysterio, back behind bars. Mysterio is actually the only one I haven't gotten so far. So I better remedy that fairly sharpish. Anyway, that's a cool accessory to come with. Now, it is made of paper, so you can wreck it. But it does fit in his hands, which is pretty awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. So he also comes with a rolled up daily bugle for him to hold. He comes with a second fist, a second pair of hands. One being a fist and the other being a pointing finger, classic JJ, where he can point at someone else for his problems. Now, as for the body, I think it's the same body that um, they used for Stan Lee. His face is very good. And it's pretty standard, really. There isn't a lot to be um, shouting about. Now, again, like Stan Lee, these shoes that he has on, they're very awkward to get him to stand. He does stand pretty easily once you figure it, but there definitely is a knack to it, which is sort of annoying. Yeah, stand up, you git. There you go. So, articulation-wise, his head is on a peg, goes down. Little side to side, goes all the way around. It is on a neck, neck peg there, it goes down. And goes up so you get a lot of movement there shoulders were quite like the arms were quite loose when i arrived the biceps you can see how quick they're moving there he only has single jointed elbows like the female figures it goes you get a bit of rotation on it and it goes down which is sort of disappointing he does have an ab crunch he does have a waist swivel legs go out so far up this far quite far he does have double jointed knees and the shoes, you have very limited range of motion up and down. And it does move this bit a little bit. So, JJ is a pretty cool figure. Definitely worth the buy. Now, let's just show you the other hands in motion. I imagine a lot of people would be posing him with the hand out. Now, it's not just me, but if you look a little bit like Hitler or something here, uh, controversial, I know. Yeah, put down the finger, it doesn't suit you. And of course, you can get the bugle in his hands. 
Get me pictures of Spider-Man. And that should be your ideal pose for this guy. But I'm going to I'm gonna pose him with this. Because firstly, I don't want it to get damaged. And secondly, it's really, really cool. So guys, this figure is excellent. I would definitely buy it. If you're a Spider-Man collector, you need JJ in your collection. And yeah, this one is pretty awesome. And he won't get many more releases, I'd say, in the future. And this one will only go up in price. So the last one that came out with the, was it the chameleon head? That is near impossible to get now. So get this guy while you can and enjoy. And we'll see you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye.